The question number six is the ratio of the specific heat at constant volume to that at constant pressure for an ideal gas is found to be 2 by 3 and the degree of freedom this ideal gas. Now dear student it is given that the specific heat at constant volume to the specific heat at constant pressure which will also be equal to molar specific heat and that is given equal to 2 by 3. So therefore Cp by Cv is equal to 3 by 2. And but Cp by Cv is equal to 1 plus 2 by F and where F is called the degree of freedom. So 3 by 2 minus 1 is equal to 2 by F and we can find from here that 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by F or F is equal to 4. So answer to this question is the option 2. Now the question number 7 is from the given graph which of the following conclusion can be drawn? and mu is given the number of moles on the y axis is PV upon mu T and on axis is the pressure. But dear student, as the temperature of the gas increases, the graph comes closer to the ideal gas and T1 is higher than T2 than T3. So if I write the order, then T1 is upper than T2. So T1 temperature is greater than T2 is greater than T3. And let's look up the options. So option first is T1 greater than T2 greater than T3. Yes, that is two option. So answer to this question is the one. The question number eight is the ratio Cp by Cv is gamma for an ideal gas. Then its molar weight is M. Its specific heat at constant pressure. Now, dear student, molar specific heat is equal to gamma R divided by gamma minus one. But if you want to find out per gram that is called the specific heat at constant pressure. So you have to divide by the molar mass and that give you the value of small cp. So this become equal to gamma r over m into gamma minus 1 and the correct option will be the third answer. Let's go to question number 9 says that the graph between the pressure of an ideal gas and a root mean square speed of its molecule assuming constant density. Now dear student, the formula for the root mean square velocity, so VRMS is also equal to 3P divided by rho root. Now in this case he says that the rho is kept constant and if rho is constant then VRMS is proportional to the root of the pressure or VRMS is equal to a constant K into root P. So the graph between this and this is a parabola because P is coming to be proportional to V square. So Y is equal to K into root of X. So answer to this option is 2. And let's move to the next problem. The question number 10 is the period of small vertical oscillation of the spring pendulum is found to be equal to 2 seconds. The whole apparatus is now placed in an elevator accelerating upward with an acceleration 0.5 g, the percentage change in time period of oscillation. Now student, you have to be alert that it is a spring pendulum and the spring pendulum time period is not affected by any acceleration from outside. So the time period will remain same. If the time period is same, then in that case, the percentage change will be equal to zero. So the correct option is the answer number four.